But first, since 1996, the Little River Zoo just east of Norman has been a unique place where children and their parents can get to know a lot of different animals. That's right, but now a closed sign hangs outside the zoo. As Cleveland County reporter Gan Matthews tells us, the poor economy has had a devastating effect. So, yeah. That's Pat. The zoo has lots of kangaroos, but no kids, no classes, no cash. So we've had to uh, close our education department, which would be our tour guides, our gift shop, uh, our office administration. Uh, we just didn't have the money to make the payroll. With donations down, so is employment. And Candace Blackwell, a zoology graduate from OSU, won't be around much longer. I didn't even know about this place until a year ago. Um, so it was already starting to go down in numbers of people here, um, visitors and everything. Um, but I'd like to see a lot of people come and see the animals. There's some great animals here, a lot of diversity. The zoo is closed to the general public, but it's still home to almost 400 animals. What will become of them? Some of them probably couldn't survive a move to another zoo. For the present, Little River Zoo will operate as an animal shelter. So if we had to close and to start moving animals, there's just not that many facilities that would probably want Darwin. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Come here. Here's a perfect example. Darwin, a small monkey. He doesn't have uh, all these fingers. Kind of got some broken teeth. Uh, and he's subject to strokes. Yeah. Uh, so he probably wouldn't make a move. For now, Little River has donations enough and food enough to feed the animals. The zoo can't think too much about the future. The present is challenge enough. In Norman, Gan Matthews, News 9. The Little River Zoo is still accepting donations for its animal sanctuary. We have linked the zoo's website to ours, news9.com.